Hey folks, this is Augie of Your Two Cents, and we're moving right along with this, and here we are at, yes, well, this one is not what it appears, again, uh, this is a review for Curse of the Abyss by Spinks Beard Company, uh, their beard oil that came in their uh, pack, and you're saying, well, Gus, what the hell, what happened to that one? Oh, uh, damn, I'm going to have to reshoot one. Uh, <laughs> it's in the car and, uh, I've been using it quite a bit cause I really like it. It's, uh, basically a copy of Nasamato's black Afghano and, uh, you know, my beard does not look that long and flowing, uh, nor that exotic, but, uh, to me that scent really goes well and it doesn't seem too overpowering. Uh, it's, it's an exotic scent, uh, has a note of cannabis, oud wood, incense, smoky incense. I don't get a lot of smoke, but I do get an incense note. It's a nice melange, melange of, uh, scents. And, you know, I'll be honest, I haven't had that fragrance. I've had fragrances that were similar. Uh, supposedly it smelled like it. And, and I guess I would put that one, uh, this one that's fake right in that category. Uh... You know, it, it basically does the job and, you know, pretty good longevity. I think it's there all day, uh, eight hours. Uh, that being said, I personally like it. I, don't, I didn't get any comments on any of these beard oils. I don't think they really project that well. Uh, the other thing, though, too, it uh, it's probably more for me. I like that scent, but I don't know how most people would feel about Black, black Afghano. Uh put it below if people do find that alluring. I think it's just an interesting exotic scent. Uh, I don't know how it would do in social settings. So uh, that's my review for that. If you like that scent, go for it. If you like a beard oil that would just be a little more cutting edge than probably what most people uh, are, most of the ones you've tried, that's definitely a scent that would be there. Uh, I would like to see this company uh, also. I think of Timbuktu by uh, La Artisan and Dazonka uh, as being two pretty exotic scents that uh, I like, but boy, I don't know. It would be, it'd be interesting if they made beard oils for that, but I don't want to recommend that because I don't know if it would sell. I don't know how much the outlay is to put out a scent, but that would be interesting because it'd be right in that wheelhouse. So anyhow, uh, anyhow folks, there'll be more of these to come and uh, please be kind.